I needed that coffee because I tell you what, it's been crazy. Um, we are, this is your Bible video, and just remember that as you're doing these videos, you do need to take notes and make notes in history and in science as well. I will check them when you come back next week. Um, Nikki has some extra things to do as far as organizing his papers and everything. I noticed that some of you had um, round rubber banded papers from Mrs. Hay uh, Hodgins that you need to um, basically get put into your binders. Um, if you wanted to stop by sometime during the week just to get those, that would be fine as well. So what we're looking at today is called the genealogy of Christ. It's G-E-N-E-A-L-O-G-Y. Now I noticed in your booklet that I had not, had not, uh, put in the assignments for Thursday and Friday. I just repeated the ones for from today. So you'll need to make sure that you go through, and as we, I give you those assignments that day, that you actually do those things. Today, you're going to be doing um, 90, 89, and the backside is extra credit, and you're going to be doing 91 and 92 as well. 90 is the Bible reading guide, and so I have it written in there what you should be doing for each day, and those are correct as far as that. You also have memory verse work. We'll take the memory verse quiz on Monday as well. Um, you do have, uh, actually, the reading for Thursday and Friday is not correct either, so I'll give you those on those days as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take notes on genealogy of Christ. The nice thing, this is very short. You don't have a lot of notes, and then also you'll need to, um, you can pause, and you can write down things that you may have heard. This is all, we have a test in just a week from this Friday on these lessons, and so you want to make sure uh, it's all about Christmas. It's all about what's happening at Christmas, and we look forward to everybody being able to come back on Monday. You know, we've had several, and I'm still hearing about people who are positive for COVID and uh, in our school, and so it's uh, possible that it spread from student to student, from who knows where, um, uh, just all those things that, that have happened, but um, we don't know. The Lord knows it's not really important because people have it, and they just need quarantine, and then we get through it, and then we really, those people that have been sick won't have to worry about it as much afterward. All right, so here we go, genealogy of Christ. Matthew's gospel begins by giving Jesus' family tree. The genealogy of Joseph, Joseph's earthly father, I'm, um, I'm sorry, the genealogy of Joseph, Joseph's earthly father. Joseph's family line, or tree, begins with Abraham and traces Christ's lineage to the patriarchs and kings of Israel. Jesus was the fulfillment of the promise uh, of the promise God made to Abraham in Genesis 12 when God said that he would bless those who bless Abraham and curse those who curse Abraham and in all and all the families of the earth would be blessed in Abraham. Jesus was the one that fulfilled that promise. Um, he also fulfilled the covenant God made with David when he said that he would set up David's seed after him and establish the throne of David's kingdom forever. Now, that genealogy is given in Mary's line, which is in the book of Luke, I believe. And so, um, those uh, would indicate then that uh, Jesus, because he was a seed of a woman, he has the right to be the king because he is not of Joseph's line, whose line was cursed because of Solomon. And so, this is where uh, Jesus fulfills both things because the lines are passed down through the Father, but they are also passed, um, in this case, the blood for the kingdom is passed down through Mary, and she was of the uh, the proper lineage to be able to receive the kingdom um, line, or be in the king line, kingly line. Although women were not normally named in genealog genealogies in that era, Matthew includes four women in this family tree, Tamar, Rahab, and Bathsheba. I'm sorry, Tam Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, and Bathsheba. Three of these women, Tamar, Rahab, and Bathsheba, are known for terrible sins that they committed during their lifetimes. Rahab and Ruth were not even Jews. Rahab was from the land of Canaan, and Ruth was from Moab. What does this tell us about God? He is able to take people whose sin separates them far from him and bring them into a close relationship with him. It also reflects that Christ includes both Jews and Gentiles in his kingdom. Luke's gospel also includes a genealogy of Jesus. Luke begins with Christ and works backward all the way to Adam, the Son of God. Many scholars believe Luke is tracing Mary's family tree, although her name is not mentioned. Through this line also, Christ is a descendant of David. Luke's genealogy reminds us that Jesus is both the Son of Man and the Son of God. 
It also shows us that Jesus fulfilled the promise God made to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Jesus Christ was the seed of the woman. He was the one who would bruise the serpent's head and take away the curse of sin. So there's your lesson for today. Um, if you have any questions about anything, whether it's the math lesson or whether it's the any, any of the assignments that you have, don't hesitate to call me. I'll do my best to answer you as quickly as I can. Um, but uh, we are um, in a special week this week because of the COVID. And again, as, as I said, I'm still finding out that families have been sick. And so um, they need to quarantine. And so I think that it was best to, it's very possible that um, there are many students, even possibly some of you, who have COVID but don't even have symptoms because there have been some that that's been the case. All right, well, we look forward to uh, tomorrow and just have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.